All right. I am going to bet that you have at some point in time in your business career, life, whatever, um, you have overthought, overcomplicated, made things out to be a lot harder than what they had to be. I mean, raise your hand if you if you know what I'm talking about and if you've been there. I mean, I can tell you that for me, when I first started my business, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm a marketing and communications professional and I hired a marketing team to help me develop my marketing business, which you know I'm sure for you and for many people out there seems absolutely ludicrous and crazy to do. But, you know, shoot, I, I just was like, when you're knee deep in your own business, it's hard to see the forest for the trees kind of a thing. And I thought I needed the help. And I did. They helped me kind of get started for sure. But oh my goodness, talk about overcomplicating things from the get go. I remember um, I was told that I needed to have a business Facebook page, a business Instagram and personal Instagram page, because I was only on Facebook at the time, that I needed to have both a um, business and personal LinkedIn page as well too. Y'all, that's like what, six pages of content to manage right off the bat. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm psyching myself up. And I'm like, all right, I can do this. And after about, I'm going to say three or four months of posting content and doing all of the things and, you know, and then, oh yeah, you need to do, you need to record Facebook lives. Oh, and you need to have a YouTube channel. And I was just like, okay, I'll, I'll do all of that too. And after several months of doing all of that, I found myself completely worn out, frazzled, had no creativity left in my brain whatsoever. Um, Are you with me? have you been there? Are you shaking your head? Like, yes, I've done all the things and it's freaking ass exhausting. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. And I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do all of that crap. I mean, oh my God, I've learned the hard, learned my lesson the hard way. That's for sure. Um, But you know, so interesting. I was talking with a group of business owners. um, By the time this uh, podcast episode drops, it's been at least a few weeks ago, but I was talking with a a group of business owners um, who I was facilitating a workshop on, you know, um, marketing strategy and perfect client. Who is your perfect client and all of that fun stuff. And I was asking, as we were diving into marketing strategy and that development, um, I asked the group, I said, you know, I'm curious how many of you are active on social media and have, you know, an email, uh, you know, email your list regularly, blah, blah, blah. And I think two people out of the group you know, raised their hand and said, yeah, they did, but they were exhausted with it because, you know, they were managing all the time. I actually had one lady raise her hand and was just like, yeah, I don't know. My hair is on fire all the time. Um, I'm, you know, constantly working on my business or I'm working in my business on my business. Have you heard that before? I mean, that's such, you know, we're, we get so busy with the client work and hand, managing and handling the day-to-day stuff. We're working in our business you know, in with the clients in, you know, with the day-to-day grind, but when it comes to working on our business, marketing our business, talking to people about our business and what we do and how we do it, um, that gets pushed by the wayside. You know, it just does. And especially if you're busy with clients, which great, if you are, you're busy, you're going gangbusters, that's great. But I'm telling you, relying on referrals and alone is not, is not a good business strategy. It's just not, we need to be out there. We need to be marketing our business. And that absolutely, if you're not working with clients, your number one thing that you need to be doing is marketing your business. All right. So that's what we're going to talk about today. You have got to market your business. If you're going to be a business that stays in business for any length of time. All right. Because saying to me that, Hey, you know, I just don't have the time. Hey, my hair's on fire. And I, I, you know, I've, I've got to manage this personnel problem. I just don't, I don't have time to market my business. Let me tell you, my friend, if you don't market your business, you will not have a business in the very near future. And, and here's the how part, because one thing that I got asked when I was speaking um, to this group of business owners, well, then what do you do? Like, how, how do we make sure that we have time to market your business? Okay. Well, like with anything, y'all, you have to budget that time. You've got to block that time out. And for me, let me share with you what I do. Okay. One Saturday or Sunday a month, I will block out a four hour chunk of time. All right. What do you do in that four hour chunk of time? Well, let me tell you what you do in that four hour chunk. 
you look at the month ahead and you go, okay, I've got four weeks in this month or five weeks in this month or whatever. I develop a theme for each week. And each week I develop content based on that theme. Now for me, I typically write, I'm a writer, so I will write out a blog post. For you, it might be a Zoom recording that you get transcribed or whatnot, if you feel more comfortable talking. I don't care how you do it, but you need to develop that content by week. And then you either hop on Canva and get some, pre, you know, some of their theme templates that they have. They Canva even has a planning system. You know, if you pay $12 a month, you can have access, you know, to a, a planning system to where you can plan out your posts and schedule them and that kind of thing. So for 12 bucks a month, easy peasy. But if you're not planning in advance and looking at your weeks going, okay, if October is coming up or February is coming up or whatever month is coming up for you, whenever you listen to this, what is coming up? What is trending in your particular industry or niche? What, you know, what holidays do you need to be talking about? What sales are coming up? You know, if there's conferences that you're going to, um, you're an insurance company or you're a commercial broker, uh, commercial mortgage broker, you know, what conferences are coming up that you might have a speaking opportunity? How can we be talking about that on your social media as well too? And on your email marketing, you know, if you're not planning a head, then yeah, you, you'll never be able to post, you know, consistently and regularly. All right. So I really encourage you take one Saturday or Sunday or whatever day works best for you. You know, what's best for your schedule and just hop on your Google Google Calendar, hop on your Outlook, whatever platform that you use for planning and scheduling. And you block out that period of time and you think about beforehand um, you know, jot down some ideas on a post-it note. What is coming up that you need to be talking about? All right. If you're a lawyer and you know it's um, coming upon the holiday times and you're a divorce lawyer or whatnot, um, you might want to be talking about how to communicate with your co-parent about the holiday schedule. You know, for kids. So you get the gist. You find out based on that time of year what are the you know hot topics, what's going on in your industry or niche that you can share on, and that kind of thing. Jot down that con content, do it week by week. That way it doesn't seem so overwhelming. Hop on Canva, develop those posts. They do not have to be beautifully done posts as it is anyway. And in fact, if you're on Instagram a lot, then you need to be recording more videos than anything. And if you're on LinkedIn quite a bit, then you need to be either recording videos on LinkedIn as well too, or you need to be doing the carousel posts that are PDFs that you can upload because those get really good visibility as well. But just be thinking about what that content is going to look like, block out the time to do it and just get it done. Okay. Because complaining about how you don't have time to market your business to me, that's a priority problem. Okay. It just is. We all have things that come up. We all have fires that we're trying to fight. We all have growth that we're trying to manage. Um, we, we've all been there, done that, but if you're not making it a priority, just like your health, I mean, you can either choose to eat, you know, at the uh, drive throughs or whatever, or you can choose to plan ahead and make sure that you've got the boiled eggs and salad. Okay. Same thing here too. So block out your four hour chunk of time. You've got to make your marketing a priority or it will not get done. And frankly, my friend, if you're not marketing your business now, you will not have a business to market in the future. All right. So that is the quick um, down and dirty for today. I don't want you to be thinking to yourself how it's too overwhelming. Um, my other big quick piece of advice is when it comes to social media, just pick one platform. My God, you don't need to be on all of them. Pick the one that makes the most sense for you and your business and just be active on that one. And active may only be three or four times a week. And that's fine too. I'm a bigger believer in being out in front of people and meeting your customers where they're at and, you know, getting in front of those faces that need to see you and work with you, right? Because that's what we're here for. We're here to serve. So take your four hours, figure out how you can lump it in into your schedule. And I'd love to hear if this topic resonates with you or not. Okay. I mean, again, I'm just thinking about all the people that I've talked to over the past couple of weeks who are just drowning and saying that they don't have time to market their business. Well, let's make time to market your business. Okay. So anyway, take your four hours. Let's get it done until next time.